Hey guys, it's Jeff from Pressure Luck, and today is a breakfast day. Now, breakfast is one of those meals that so many of us actually skip. I'm super guilty of it. And when I actually do eat breakfast, I really like to make it count. And sometimes I really like to go over the top and really splurge and make myself a comfort breakfast. And today is going to be one of those days. Now you've probably seen a few egg recipes in the Instant Pot, you know, those little egg bites, some frittata style. Mine's gonna basically be an egg casserole we're gonna put in there, and it's gonna be loaded with sausage, prosciutto or bacon, mushrooms, hash browns, and cheese, of course, of, and of course eggs, obviously. It's gonna be the, one of the most amazing decadent breakfasts ever. It's so easy to make, all you have to do is just saute a few things in the pot, then add it into either a springform pan or a Pyrex bowl, put it in the Instant Pot, and poof, you're gonna have an incredible, incredible meat-filled egg casserole. So guys, it's time to break that fast. Here we go, right to the Instant Pot, egg casserole. Let's start with a medium-sized yellow onion and dice it up. Now let's go to the Instant Pot and we're going to add in one tablespoon or an eighth of a stick of salted butter. And I want to come down to my pot and I want to hit the saute function. And I want to adjust so I'm on the more or the high setting. And once the butter is melted and sizzling, we're going to now add in our onions. And we're going to stir that around in the pot for about two to three minutes until they become a little bit softened and they're going to get slightly browned in color. And once we're looking like this, we are good. So now let's take our sausages. These again are frozen and we're just going to add them to the pot. And then just stir that sausage around in the pot. It's going to cook relatively quickly. I'm also going to add in about a five or four ounce packet of prosciutto that's diced up. Or you can use bacon if you want to, but I really love prosciutto for this, but bacon is totally fine. Add that in there. We stir everything up together. And I want to add in eight ounces of sliced baby bella or crimini mushrooms. I'm going to add that to the pot along with another tablespoon of butter. And then just stir everything around. Don't worry about the bottom of the pot looking like things might be sticking onto it. Nothing to worry about because we're going to take all this stuff out of the pot after we're done sauteing it. Okay, and once we're looking like this, we are good. Let's turn our pot off and take everything out of it and put it inside of a bowl for the time being. Let's come back down to the pot and hit the keep warm or the cancel button. There we go. Let's put that all inside of a bowl. It smells incredible. Okay. Perfect. And also, feel free to take the sausages and just cut them up into little pieces too. So just cut it up like this and just add it back into our bowl. And there we have it, our mushrooms, our onion, our sausage, and our prosciutto or bacon. But I really love prosciutto for this, guys. All right, now let's set this aside and focus on our eggs. Now we want to take our bottom of our pot and we can rinse it out, or honestly, we can just leave it how it is. It's not even going to make any difference because we're simply going to put the trivet and some water in there when we cook our egg casserole in our six inch springform pan, which by the way, let's get there now. So I want to take eight large eggs and crack them into a bowl. And to that, I want to also add a third of a cup of half and half, or you can use regular milk or heavy cream, but half and half is what I'm using. And then whisk everything up. And after we've whisked it up so it's nice and combined, we're good. Don't, don't worry about seasoning the egg mixture with anything. We already have plenty of flavor going on with our sauteed onions, mushrooms, sausage, and prosciutto or bacon. What I do want to add to this though are some chives, okay? I'm just going to take a few of them and chop them up and add them in. All right, you see that? And I'm just going to add those into the eggs. And then just give that a final little bit of a whisk so we have all of our chives mixed in with our eggs. Okay, perfect. We are looking good here. And now we're gonna move on. So now I wanna take one of these six by three fat daddy-o pans that are gonna fit into my six quart instant pot perfectly, as well as my eight quart, obviously. And you see it has a spring fork thing going on here, which is gonna be super handy. What I wanna do now is I wanna grease this guy up really good with a lot of butter. Well, when I say a lot of butter, I mean just grease it up really, really well. We do this because we wanna make sure none of the eggs will stick when we're cooking. So get some butter and start greasing. Get the sides too, get everything in there. Make sure we get every nook and cranny. All right, be very generous. And when we're looking like this all around, guys, you see that? We are good to go. Okay, next step. Okay, so now it's time for the assembly. I want to start with some hash browns. Now, if you can find these kind in your supermarket in the frozen section, awesome. If not, you can use tater tots. You can even use those flat frozen rectangular hash browns, like the kind you get at McDonald's for breakfast, you know what I'm talking about? You can lay that on the bottom, but I feel like these are going to be the easiest to do, so I'm going to add these in there. And I'm going to add in just enough to coat the bottom of the pan. 
So we're kind of like this. It's okay if some overlap, that's fine, but we really want all the hash browns to cover the bottom of the pot so they create kind of, I don't know, like almost like a crust of potatoes, if that makes sense. Now let's add in our entire mixture that we cooked in there with our onions, our meats, all that stuff. And press it down a little bit. We want to make sure everything fits nicely. Now let's sprinkle on a layer of some cheddar cheese or any cheese of your liking. Make sure we get it pretty generously in there. About a half a cup to one cup is perfect. And last but not least, let's pour in our egg mixture over everything. There we go, right inside of our pot. Just make sure we slowly pour it in. And some of it might want to spill onto some of the sides of the pot since it's a spring form pan. That's okay, don't worry about it. Just make sure all of our egg is inside and just slowly pour it in so it can seep. And then kind of just take the egg and make sure it's all kind of evenly dispersed throughout the top, just like so. Very good. And now let's cover the top of some foil. Don't be super, super tight on the top. Leave a little room because again, we have that cheese up there. So just be careful. Or you can use some non-stick spray on top or you can also use some non-stick foil. And now we're good to go. Okay, let's go to our pot. And by the way, in case you don't want to deal with the eggs running a little bit through and seeping through the bottom of the spring form pan, which might happen, and that's okay if it does. Nothing to worry about at all. It's not going to affect anything. By all means, you can cook this in like a Pyrex bowl that's about, you know, seven inches in diameter maximum. I wouldn't go any bigger than that. Okay, let's put our liner pot back at the Instant Pot. Again, you can clean this out if you want because we're just putting the trivet in there. Put the handle sides down like that, as well as a cup and a half of water. Now I just want to lower my pan inside the pot using the top so you can grip it and just lower it in there. Let's take our lid and secure it. Make sure we're in sealing position. And now I want to hit the pressure cook or the manual button depending on your model. And I want to go for 30 minutes guys on high pressure. That is it. On the Duo Series you'll have the less than normal and the more setting also for pressure cook level. But don't worry about that. I always leave it on normal. We just want to make sure it's on normal and on the high setting on the Duo Plus. On the Duo Series you won't have that option. Now that we're finished let's do a quick release. And the pin drops, so let's open the lid. Okay, and now using some sort of oven mitt or something of that nature, let's just remove our pan from the Instant Pot. Okay, now let's take our tin foil off, and voila, our beautiful egg casserole, or whatever you want to call it, frittata, I don't know. And now you're going to see some of the egg might have spilled to some of the sides. That's fine, don't worry about it. It might have even leaked out a little bit, because that's what this pan does. But you don't have to cook it in this pan. You can also totally put it inside of a Pyrex bowl as well. That's fine, too. The spring form pan is going to help us detach when we open so I'm going to do that now let's take a knife and just kind of move around the sides with it like this before we open all the way and there we have it guys all right mm, it's looking amazing okay now what we can do is we can transfer this to a serving plate or we can just serve it right off this plate too and I'm gonna do that by taking a spatula and just getting underneath our casserole here should be relatively simple just kind of use like a saw like fashion when you're going underneath it there we go, perfect. And now let's just take it, we can simply slide it onto a plate to serve. So we are perfect just like this. Easy transfer. Okay, now let's try it out. So I'm just gonna cut myself a piece in a cake-like fashion here. This one's already perfectly cut pretty much. And well, there we have it. Oh, some mushroom fell. And now let's put it onto a plate. And there we have it, guys. Oh boy, breakfast heaven right here. Let's try it out. All right, guys, here's our delicious meat lover's egg casserole. Mm. Mm. This pretty much tastes like the greatest meat stuffed omelet of all time with mushrooms in it. I'm gonna be making this every single time I have guests over for breakfast, which is about once a year. Oh, it's cooked absolutely fantastically. The eggs are cooked to perfection. Mm. In every single bite, there's literally so much flavor. There's the potatoes from the hash browns, there's the mushrooms, there's the sausage, there's the prosciutto, there's the eggs, there's the cheese, there's the chives, there's everything in here at once. Mmm. I feel like I'm at like Denny's, but even better, and it's in my home, and I just made this myself. It's really very, very, very easy, and that's really the important thing. And it's really very much a set it and forget it recipe. It's gonna cook perfectly when you put it in the pot. I honestly can't get enough of this because I love sausage and bacon and eggs and cheese. I mean, potatoes too, I mean, come on. I gotta wake Richard up so he can try this.